Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Quick general love reading for my friends Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Whenever you watch this, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you resonate, let us know. Like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for the support. So guys, let's find out what messages wanna come through for you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus in the Love Arena. Let's see what we can get for you guys. So that was extremely fast. Time to go and never ending story. So I feel that the never ending story goes first and then possibly time to go. A recurrent pattern may be involved in a situation. The fairy lady is concerned, so it is something that requires a completion one way or the other. The time to go can be uh, for some the opportunity to leave uh, a situation behind, for others an energy that can turn out to be a different way of doing things because maybe something uh, needs to be released as a way of doing so let's keep this in mind and let's see what the tarot has to say about these energies Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus, never-ending story, time to go. Alright, Queen of Swords, Eight of Wands, Knight of Swords, this is interesting. Bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups and bottom of it, the Moon. So disappointment and sadness about something that uh, was not satisfying enough because the moon bottom of the uh, five of cups is about something unclear this is the unknown something that is yet to be revealed yet to be discovered but this is also an energy that uh, calls for the bravery to dive deeper and deeper into the understanding of a situation. Despite the fear factor that may be involved. And if it is the case of a recurrent pattern that keeps coming back, maybe there is something that uh, needs to be unlocked. some kind of understanding, basically. Otherwise, we are running the risk to experience disappointments, sadness, regrets. So, this flow of energies, guys, um, may truly unfold in time, depending on your situation. Because there is a meaningful conversation between two individuals, Queen of Swords and Knight of Swords, that, allow me to say, are not willing to bend the knee. Because the Knight of Swords is extremely open to speak his mind. Sometimes he is so excited that he can not pay attention to the right choices of words in order to convey a particular message. And so the, com the communication can even become uh, harsh and a little bit confusionary. On the other hand, Queen of Swords, a brilliant mind, practical, rational, methodical, that knows how to be fair but at the same time the queen is ready is ready to swing the ace of swords absolutely so she will not bow down if she knows that something is exactly how she has figured it out to be 
So I guess that you will have to pick your side in a situation like this one. Because the communication will be extremely clear, open. Um, the both of you can be willing to talk. Because you may have understood that something is not how you would want it to be. The time to go is meaningful because we see the Five of Cups. So uh, what will come out from the communication, from the conversation, from the talk, it will depend on the comprehension um, that the both of you will be able to achieve about the moon factor that I feel is at the core of the never-ending story. So the pattern that keeps coming back. The one that uh, can make you say, my goodness, we are still uh, stuck at this point. It keeps coming back. And so we need to uh, find a completion about it. So let's clarify this combination. Let's see what we can get. All right. The full eight of pentacles, nine of wands bottom of the deck we have the lovers so not just a soulmate energy extremely passionate a bond that can be felt on a soul level but also a choice and it is a choice guys in this case absolutely a heart over head decision now the clarification uh, offers in our favor um, quite a picture If the both of you are willing, truly willing, to dive deeper into the understanding of what factors may be at the core of the discomfort, the disappointment, Five of Cups Moon related, you may have the chance to work things out and the time to go will manifest as the chance to let go of past behaviors that couldn't work basically but you need to be willing to do this process together one of you may be a little bit more hammered by the situation nine of wands so it is quite a contrast because the knight which can be the one that uh, snaps like this even in the communication flow may be the one uh, that vibes with the wounded warrior someone that uh, would love a moment of relief because experiences um, have tested the man in the nine of wands but he has persevered you know maybe the knight of swords can be the person that was persevering in the uh, behaviors that have called the queen of swords to raise and say look we need to change something because otherwise we are keep we are keeping uh, with this uh, nonsense basically that is working against the connection effort is required guys eight of pentacles this is not about work it is not the feeling this is about the finer qualities that this man is able to bring to the table in order to uh, manifest um, successful outcomes uh, he knows what it takes in order to bring to life all the beautiful pentacles that are the source for his satisfaction, fulfillment and success. So in order for the connection uh, to achieve success, the both of you uh, need to be on the same page. Um, to be on the same page is a goal that can be achieved by 
opening up together about the things that may be a source of discomfort and then trying to understand how to resolve them. This is a heart of a head decision with the lovers absolutely because if you feel that the situation is not deserving of love, time and effort basically, uh, the choice is already made by itself. But if the connection is meaningful because it is important for you, because there is love, reciprocal, there is respect which is uh, uh, extremely important because it grants fairness within the connection and so a healthy balance. If there are these finer qualities involved, the heart overhead decision will be about the decision, again, I'm sorry for the repetition, but the decision to um, work together, releasing old patterns in order to close the never-ending story uh, vibration and then embracing a leap of faith. A new cycle, a brand new cycle. The fool is ready to embark on a journey, is ready to um, go all out on an adventure in order to learn new things. Maybe uh, a, a new set of um, ways of doing things together that can work. But uh, this needs to be a, a mutual decision. Otherwise, if the connection cannot be saved, basically, and so uh, we are moving towards the Five of Cups, regrets, disappointments and sadness uh, vibration, the time to go will be about the Queen of Swords making the final call, allow me to say, embracing the full energy as the heart overhead decision to move in a different direction. The other person will uh, feel the loss. The Knight of Swords can be the one that, in the less auspicious uh, scenario, basically, uh, can experience uh, Nine of Wands energies even more. So this can go two ways, depending on the issues that may be involved in a particular situation. It can be worked out. Honestly, despite the fact that the patterns may be uh, recurrent, you know, they can be released, so they can go and uh, they can be left behind in order for the connection to start in a brand new way. But if it is not possible, and um, basically you will know if that's the case, the Queen of Swords will be the one to say, um, look, we tried, maybe we tried our best, but we keep coming back to the same point and we are not making any progress. Maybe, uh, maybe it is not meant to be. And so a leap of faith will be taken in a different direction. It can still be a heart overhead decision because if it is something that is not working, basically the heart and soul choice will be about the opportunity to move towards something that can be in alignment with wishes and desires. So this is quite a situation. Uh, let's see where these energies are going, guys. Uh, I will leave it at that. I truly hope it was helpful. I'll continue on Vimeo. I'll see you there. If you want to join me, the link is below. Let us know if you resonate. Leave a comment, like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, I wish you the best, guys. Take very good care of you, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.